Hello everybody, my name is Christopher Hart. I'm a cartoonist and author of many books on how to draw cartoons. And today I'd like to give you a lesson to show you how maybe some of your insecurities about drawing are misplaced. For instance, I always hear people say, I can't start with a circle. I don't know how to draw a perfect circle. Okay, so let's start without a perfect circle, okay? Let's just draw something like that. That is not an exact circle. And it's fine. A circle is just where you start and then you chip away here, and you chip away there, and you come up with a good drawing. So we'll divide it in half. This is a center line, so we can keep everything even. And the eye line, so we can keep everything on this level as well. See, eye line is as high on this side as it is on this side. It's important to, to do that. All right, so let's fill this out over here a little bit, so it's the same on this side and on this side. Now we're evening it out a little little bit. It doesn't have to be perfect. The secret is that faces themselves aren't perfect. They really aren't. There's a little bit of asymmetry in every face. So by, you know, driving yourself nuts to make it symmetrical, you, you are cross purposes. All right, so let's, let's draw a nice big open eye on either side and try to make it similar on both sides pretty much the same space from one to the other. Maybe I got a little bit too close here, so I'll make an adjustment. Adjustments are part of drawings. If you can't do it right the first time, that's part of what makes a drawing a drawing. No professional artist tries to do everything just right the first time. Okay, so now put some big pupils in here. And we'll make them nice and round. If you can't get it perfectly round, again, no problem. I will now sketch in here and darken it in. And how about just a little kind of petite nose in the middle here, the two outer nostrils. These are called the covers and the holes in here. And a little smile just up to the side, one side, a little fun on one side. That gives a little more personality than if you have the exact same smile on both sides. And we're going to give a little thickness to the lip, upper lip, and just a little shadow for the lower lip. And a crease, a small crease over here. Now you see how there's a little more area here than here? So I'm noticing what I'm doing and that maybe I should just open it up just a touch. Just like that. Now I'm going to put a little bit of eyelashes on this side, a whole bunch of them, but I'm going to bunch them together so they don't look like individual lashes, just sort of little bits of lash. There are many different styles, and you may have your own. doesn't mean this is the right one. I just think for this character, it looks kind of like fun. It makes it look kind of alive. And long eyebrows to give some expression. I think uh, it's, it's important to draw and emphasize the eyebrows because by making small little eyebrows, you just take away one of the tools that you have to add expression. And now let's give her some bangs right here, some hair, and we're going to bring the hair way up here. This is going to add some mass to the head. Bring it down here, and I'll slow down for you. It's going to go out, go out like that. And now I'm going to erase this part here, which is the original head shape. So there's nothing confusing it. And I'm going to also erase right here along the sides, because I'm going to create the hair so that it curls in like that, kind of invades here, invades the face. And the same thing back here on this side. Like that. And then open this up a little bit. And now to make it a little a little sleeker, nice long neck. And there you go. That is 
a face, a cool little face, from an imperfect circle all through the thing. There are imperfect shapes, but we made it work because we worked on the individual parts instead of looking only at the whole. Well, I hope you enjoyed that and that you learned something. Thank you for visiting, and I hope you subscribe. New videos every Monday. Bye-bye.